Hello, in this video we are going to use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint between two points, in this case the endpoints of our segment. A is at negative 3 comma negative 4 and B is at 2 comma 6. And you can see I have them plotted already in blue and red. And if I was just trying to find the midpoint graphically, what I would try to think about doing is connecting these two points and trying to find the middle of these points. So it looks like the middle is probably somewhere around here-ish, but because it's not really right on the grid, it's hard to really tell what that point will be. So in order to achieve this, what we we're going to use is the midpoint formula. And the way you can think about it conceptually is that you are going to be averaging the coordinates, the x and y coordinates of our two endpoints. So consider the value a. We have negative 3. That's our first x-coordinate. And b is at 2. So this is our second x-coordinate. So halfway between there, um, would be taking those two points, adding them up, and then dividing by two. That's the average of those points. The y values, we have negative four, and the second one is at six. So if we average those two values, we can hopefully find that midpoint as well. So let me give you the midpoint formula here, and then we'll go through the algebra. So the midpoint formula, given x1 comma y1, x2 comma y2 as the two endpoints of our segment, we can find the midpoint with this formula. x1 plus x2 divided by 2 means you're averaging the x values. y1 plus y2 divided by 2, you're also averaging then the y values. So my midpoint, given a and b, we're going to take negative 3, add it to 2, then divide by 2. And the y values, we have negative 4, adding that to 6, dividing by 2. And now we want to simplify. So make sure when you're simplifying this equation, you simplify the numerator before you try dividing by 2. So negative 3 plus negative 2, we get negative 1 over 2. And negative 4 plus 6, that's positive 2 over 2. And we'll simplify just a little bit more. Negative 1 half, or if you want to write, negative 0.5. And 2 over 2 simplifies to just 1. So the midpoint coordinates, we have the midpoint is at negative 1 half comma 1. And that does look like just about there. There's negative 1 half, and here's 1. So there's our midpoint. Now I have a try this on your own problem right there. Now it's your turn. Find the coordinates of the midpoint given the endpoints A at 5, negative 1 and B at 3, negative 4. Good luck.